sketch in the figure below this particular figure below figure three shows m and n 50 apart point b moves such that its distance from m and n is always in the ratio two is to one plot the locus of p for one complete revolution the first point of course where this locus is going to begin is from p which is position two that's the first intersection so now suppose we take an arc our compass and we choose um, let's say from here to here is 33 okay if here to here is 33 then the 33.3 the, the, the other half of it is going to be 60 16.7 yeah 16.7 that way so since we have to p to be 33 the next um realistic number will be 40 so let's choose 40 as our radius 40 we'll create an arc above same arc down here so if this is actually 40 and if it must be twice um the distance of the locus of p from m then we would have this point to be 20 this arc cutting this arc is going to be 20. so we have two points does this, this, this is second point now this two points the second point we would go on like that let's choose um figures that are okay let's say 50. then we have 50 lying on n directly create an arc up and another arc below from n still let's say we have we are creating an arc 60 now reason 60 we're going to have an arc up and another arc below however from this second point first point is here second point is here sorry from this third point my n is going to exactly sit center with center these and radius equal to the length that i just choose i chose this arc was 25 this very arc was 50. so the the length of the next arc from n as center is going to be 25. i hope you're following the argument i cut my arc here right i'll do same for the others with here as 60 and m as center if i'm using n now as center my arc to cut the previous arc is going to be 30. so i'll have this arc cut in this will be 30. if i continue like this until i get to 100 from n i'll be touching this line back here but let's continue let's see Let's say I say 60, I stopped at 60 with M as center and arc 70 now. I have my arc going up this way and this one, cutting this one this way with N as center and arc half the arc I just choose, which is 35. I'm going to cut this here i'm just trying to change direction so that we don't go one direction all the, all the time with m as center and radius 80 this time around I have an arc this way oh okay i think it was just smart to go one way i'm having conflicting arcs but i'll note this down with n as center and radius guess what 40 this time around we actually continued that sequence until i got here and another beautiful thing i did was to change the colors of the intersection of the lines so that I, we don't mix things up so um the first point here being on being on two the second point being here third point here Fourth point, fifth point, sixth point, seventh point, and then the eighth point landing us here. And here is the data that I use, the data on my right. 
the data on my right is what I used in entering all of these things that you see here. So, um, like I said before, when we measured M to P, it was 33.33, uh, 33, okay? So, um, the closest whole number to choose is going to be 40. With K, with M as center, right? And radius, the first radius, number one, 40. We created this arc, this very arc here. To cut the intersect here and to intersect here. And then with N as center and radius 20. Check the correspondence here. Yeah. Radius 20. This arc intersected here and it intersected here. Second one is 50 and 25. With M as center and radius 50. M as center and radius 50. Passing through 3, we had an intercept here. And we had another intercept here with our uh, radius 25 and n as center. n as center, you have it there. The third one was 60 and 30. We continued like that until we got to 100. 100 landing us here. So now what we're going to do is to plot all of these points, all of this point, all of this point, all of this point, leading us back here and like that we'll find out it's going to give us a um, circle so we'll land here yeah right here so let's do that quickly and see what we get yeah so here we go like i said we're starting from p first point is on p so we'll start from p connect the second point third point fourth point fifth point sixth point Seven point, eight point, and then back in a circle. And then back to P. We're sitting on P. So this is what we're going to get. We're going to get a circle. So let me highlight this and see what it looks like. Uh, so the blue line there is actually the locus of the point described by the question that I earlier read. And if you use this data on our right, you'll always get the circle. So thank you so much. You see all of these details in the description below. If there's any other thing you need to add, you print, up, print out the PDF and you can use it for your own 